Welcome to Sam Goffin Guitar. I hope you are all well. Today we are looking at the Strymon Iridium. This probably needs no introduction. It's been around for a little while, but it is an awesome little bit of kit and it is still very, very cool. Uh, today using my Music Man Cutlass. So it's a Strat style guitar, single coils. And um, right, let's get on with it. So what I'm gonna do is go through the three different amps that we've got, the round, the chime, and the punch, based on a, a Fender, a Vox, and a Marshall. Yeah, really cool. What was really interesting there, you might have noticed I was stuck on this middle control for a, a few seconds because it really does change the nature of the game structure. So as you move it round and you add more mids, it definitely pushes, feels like it pushes the amp more. So it ends up more tweedy tones rather than deluxe reverb tones. So if, you, if you're bringing it back here, then there's loads of, loads of headroom and you know more of those cut mids. And as you boost them up, less headroom as the overdrive starts getting pushed a bit in the actual pedal kind of mimicking as i said a kind of a tweed amp instead so yeah that's really cool love it okay nice let's move on to the chime again it's going to start around halfway on the uh, overdrive there There we go. So a really quick burst through the uh, the old chime amp there. Okay. So again, the mids middle control is really interesting because it acts a bit like a like a, it's a cut. So it actually it's cutting the high frequencies as we roll through it, which you'll have noticed there. So again, really interesting use of that and kind of mimicking the original amps. You know the Vox, the way they behave. 
Right, very cool. Let's go on to the last one. So this is the punch. This is the marshal. This one's got a bit more drive in it. It's kind of based on a plexi. So yeah, let's check it out. drive And there we go, they are the three amps. Quick run through, um, showing you the main kind of EQ controls and also the different cab sounds that are kind of come with it. So this is stock at the moment. Um, we can actually, using the software, we can add our own IRs into here, which is also really cool. The other really cool thing is we can actually use it without the cab IRs. So if we, basically turn it off, hold down the uh, on button and then turn it back on. We can then, by using the drive control, choose how we're going to use it. So the green light here will mean that it's only using the IR, so it's not using the amp section. Useful if you want to run, for example, a preamp pedal in front of it. Um, if I go to orange, then that is only the amp sections and not the IR, which I really like because then that means I can go through my little power amp into a real guitar cabinet. That sounds really cool with a real cabinet. And then obviously if I go all the way around to red, then that's utilizing it as it's meant to be kind of on a desktop where we're using the amp modeling and the cab IRs. There we go, yeah, so very, very cool. All right, and final one to do, obviously, is the room control here, which is, you know, a basic kind of reverb on there. Right, so let's have a little look at that. So, totally dry. can actually control the room sizes here so we've got choices um, so obviously as we go through there we're adding a bit more reverb but we do have an option of three different ones so if we enter secondary mode like so we can then turn this and we've got three different choices here. So green, orange, and red again. In fact, I'm just gonna put it on max and we'll swap between those room sizes. So that was green.
red, of course. All right, there we go. So yes, um, really, it's really cool that they've included that. Actually, I really like that because Strymon do do great reverbs. So just to have you know a bit of a room reverb usable in here is a great little touch. We've also got this favorite button, so we can store a favorite on here, making it a bit more like a, a dual channel amp. So we will just basically to do that, you just set it how you want it. Hold down the favourite until it flashes. All right, finger off, and there we go. We are done. That will now recall the exact settings of every control, which is really, really cool. Got to be said, it's really cool. So I can have it, for example, on a Fender kind of sound for my clean, and then if I want to, I can just tap onto my favourite and it'll go back to a Marshall Crunch or something, for example. So yeah, a really useful little feature. Very easy to use. And just one final thing before I go, is that I know that some of you are gonna be thinking about how it plays with other pedals. Will it work well with your, your overdrive pedals in front of it? Let's just check that out, okay? So this is the Strymon on the Chime channel. <laughs> This is it with an overdrive pedal in front. There you go, so hopefully you can tell from that it does take pedals really well indeed any questions any comments please pop them down below and yeah take care and i'll see you soon